Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is David with Side of Tech, and here in today's video, we're gonna be looking at my 2022 desk setup. There are a ton of changes compared to last year's setup, so please stick around the video to find out every single one of them. And if you like videos about everyday tech products, please feel free to like and subscribe down below. I really wanna earn your subscription today. And don't forget to follow me on all my social media. I'll have everything listed down in the description below, as well as any other products that I talk about in today's video. And I know you guys have waited long enough for this one, so let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so let's go ahead and cover what's on the left side of my desk. So here we have my Pelican case, and this is where I store all of my camera products, and a bunch of gear just to cover it from all the elements. I have here all of my lenses, batteries, filters, and just everything that I need to run my camera rig. And whenever everything's all set to go, I can pack everything up and take it with me. Moving on to my storage solution and what I like to call the crap drawer. Undoing this lock is gonna reveal a whole bunch of crap, AKA cables and just tech that I've accumulated throughout all the years. Yeah, let's put that all away and move on to the next thing, my charging solution. Here we have this pretty cool surge protector from Fully. This has everything I need to charge all of my camera batteries and then some. And as you can see here, we have a USB-C with power delivery and also USB type A. So that takes care of the left side. Now let's move on to the right. And this is a recent acquisition by Nanoleaf. These are the Nanoleaf element panels and man, can I say they are gorgeous. This is more than lighting. I consider it art. <laughs> Not only do you have the basic settings, but you also have some that react to your voice. Yeah, don't worry guys, I'll save your ears from this one. Let's move on, shall we? Now let's cover my stand-up desk. This is the fully Jarvis sit and stand desk. I've purchased this desk way back in 2017, about 5 years ago, and this thing still works flawlessly till this day. It does have some battle scars, and also the mechanism does creak now. Alright, so it... That comes with time, but you know what also takes time? Cable management. Stay organized everyone, your eyes will thank you. Now moving on to my boom arm and mic. Here we have the Rode PSA One Plus boom arm and also the Rode NT1 mic. The plus version of the boom arm is a huge improvement over the original one, so do yourself a favor and get this one if you're choosing between both of them. Now moving on to the NT1 mic. This mic has been around for many years and is super popular for the neutral sound signature that it gives off. Just make sure you pair it up with a solid audio interface like the Focusrite Scarlett Solo I have here. Best part about this whole combination is that it tucks away in its own little corner, out of sight and out of mind. Now onto the headset that I use. And and that's the AirPods Max. Say what you want about these things, but they sound really amazing whenever listening to media or just watching any kind of YouTube videos or listening to music. If you can pick these up on a sale, definitely do so. You won't regret it. Now moving on to some products from my favorite desk accessories company, and that is GroveMade. They make this really beautiful walnut desk shelf. And while we're talking about this company, let's run through a couple of other accessories I have from them. I have here their matte desk pad, which is made from linoleum, which is a material that is super durable. Swiping through with a mouse is super easy and doesn't scratch the pad at all. I have here their walnut pen cup, which looks really great and houses all the pens and pencils I would ever need. I have the walnut headphone stand, which looks really great with the AirPods Max. Coasters to prevent those nasty cup rings. The keyboard tray which houses my Apple Magic Keyboard and looks super nice. All the space gray looks really great with all the walnut accessories and that includes my MacBook Pro with the GroveMade laptop stand. Such a great combination. All these products serve some kind of functionality but this next product is a critical aspect of it. 
Here is my monitor, the LG 38WN95CW. I have it on an Amazon Basics monitor arm, which can swivel and gives me some height adjustment. In the back is where all the magic happens. Here we have all the fun ports, like HDMI 2.0, DisplayPort 1.4, two USB Type-A ports, an audio jack, and my favorite port, the Thunderbolt 3 port, which lets me connect my MacBook Pro and have all the advantages of Thunderbolt 3. This monitor has increased my productivity tenfold. Being able to fit two full-size windows on one screen is just a game changer. And having all these type of connections lets me connect basically whatever I want, including the Nintendo Switch. And it fits perfectly at this desk setup. All I have to do is dock the Switch and bam, I'm playing console games on my monitor. The Switch is really nice just to play a really quick game. And when I'm done for the night, I just leave it docked here. That way it can charge overnight and I can pick it up whenever I need to. Very convenient. Now let's move on to the brains of the operation, and the next thing that's hooked up to my monitor. My 16 inch M1 Max MacBook Pro. And what a beast she is. I'm gonna go ahead and do a full review on this product, but let me go ahead and give you a little bit of a breakdown. For one, any kind of footage that I toss into this thing, it's gonna go ahead and chew it up and spit it right out. It's such a productivity beast and saves so much time on my video editing. That's why I fully spec'd it out, because that time saved just lets me move on to other things things that I need to do. And the fact that this laptop can give you this kind of performance with battery only, need I say more? All I have to do to dock the MacBook is just connect three simple cables. One cable for charging, one cable to the monitor, and one cable to my peripherals. And when I'm all done, I just unhook those three and I'm good to go. Now onto Mac versus PC. <laughs> Forget that, I pick both. The PC that I built is strictly for gaming, and although some of the parts can be considered out of date, it can still run most modern games near ultra settings. So let's get a closer look and see what's inside here. So inside the NZXT case, we have a bunch of goodies. Here we have the Asus ROG Strix X570E Gaming Motherboard, a Radeon RX 5700 XT, two Corsair Dominator Platinums that are 16 gigabytes of RAM each for a total of 32 gigs of RAM, and an AMD Ryzen 7 3700X. So again, we're not talking about the most recent up-to-date PC parts. We're talking about last gen and I'm surprisingly running Far Cry 6 at Ultra Graphics, a game that just came out a few months ago, so I don't have a need to upgrade the PC for now. Eventually, I do want to get an Nvidia graphics card, but yeah, let's wait on that and let's go ahead and talk about my peripherals. So my wireless charger of choice is by Belkin. The main things I charge on this are my AirPods and my phone. I don't even think they make this model anymore and it doesn't even have MagSafe, but I really do love the simplicity simplicity of this charger. Next, let's talk about some desk lighting. This is the BenQ Screen Bar Plus. The best thing about this desk light is that it saves so much space on your desk. You can adjust the brightness a pretty decent range. And not only that, you can also adjust the color temperature between a warm color and a cold color. And another feature it has is auto dimming. So it'll go ahead and pick up on the ambient lighting in your room and adjust to it. Now let's move on to what I call the lifeblood of this desk setup. This is the CalDigit TS3 Plus dock and without this thing, none of this would be possible. This has all the ports you'll ever need and my MacBook Pro just runs everything through it. At the front, you have a USB type A port, a USB type C port, an audio in and out Jack, and one of the best things is a UHS-2 card reader. And flipping it to the back, you have even more. Needless to say, this peripheral is one of the best, and they just came out with a new one. I can't wait to check that one out. Now let's talk about keyboards. My keyboard of choice for my Mac is the Apple Magic Keyboard. I mainly just use this keyboard for the typing experience and the ease of use with the Mac system. There's not really much to be said about this one, it's just really solid. My gaming keyboard of choice is a G915TKL by Logitech. The low profile keys really give you a great typing and gaming experience. I really couldn't ask for more in a gaming keyboard. The mouse that I choose for my Mac is the MX Master 3, which I already have done a review on, so I'll go ahead and link that. But needless to say, this is the best productivity mouse on the market right now. And my gaming mouse of choice is the Logitech G502 Wireless. 
This is an incredible mouse, and you don't even have to just use it for gaming, you can use it for multiple situations. It fits to your hand really well, and it's just so light and easy to use. I highly recommend this. And now last, but definitely not least, is my throne, the Herman Miller Aeron. I also covered this chair in a previous review video, but I'll go ahead and keep it brief. The amount of adjustments you can do with this chair are endless. You can really shape this to your body and just have the ultimate task chair. Not only that, but it's going to keep your body in an upright position and support your lumbar. This chair is a great investment and I really wish I got it a lot sooner. But now that I have it, I don't regret it. It's definitely one of the best desk products I've ever bought. So all of these products back here have been accumulated throughout multiple years of trial and error. I guarantee you doing that research and just reading those reviews will help you tremendously. But keep in mind that your guys' preferences can also change. So do whatever works for you and I guarantee you, you will not be disappointed. Whew, man, that was a long list of products, guys. In the comments down below, please let me know your favorite items from this desk setup and also your favorite products from your own desk setup. I am always looking for products to improve my own productivity so this will help me out a lot if you list those products down below. And another thing, we are so close to 1,000 subscribers. I cannot believe we have come this far. You guys have given me so much valuable feedback, so I wanna thank you from the bottom of my heart. So with all that being said, I'm gonna get to work on 2023's desk setup, because I think that's how long it's gonna take me to make it. All jokes aside, this is David, serving you a little side of tech, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye guys.